kindly that the program calls for the reading of the obituary. All of you've had it. It's been read already. We will not uh, call Sister Tape on. Please forgive me. I'm moving along. And uh, at this particular time, before the Simonic solo, uh, God bless Reverend Arthur Taylor, Pastor of Christ Temple. Where might you be? Glad to have you here with us, brother. Amen. And sharing in the, the service. We're happy to have the pastor of the church in which Betty found Christ. The Bishop J.C. Austin of Illinois, Fifth East Jurisdiction. Pastor of St. Luke. I'm going to ask him to come. And he will give remarks representing all of the preachers. And when he is through, we will stand and receive the eulogist for the morning or the day now. Uh, the administrative assistant, superintendent, former pastor of uh, Betty War, the one and only and only one from San Diego, California, the Dr. Donald K. Barrett. At this time, Sister Jolene Smith, where might you be? Where might you be? Well, go in the kitchen until I'm calling her and to come on out here. Come on, Bishop. This wonderful place and in this great city in celebration of this dear servant of the Lord. May God bless all of the clergy and all that I've heard. It's just been wonderful. I've been just sitting enjoying the wonderful music and tributes uh, to Sister Betty who uh, spent some time with us over on the north side of Chicago, 914 North Orleans, St. Luke Church of God in Christ, where the deacon Charles McKinney serves so faithfully on our deacon board, uh, along with his wife and family. We're just so uh, pleased that uh, they are a part of us. Now, I read a scripture, Brother Charles, this morning in Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, that says, there is hope in your E-N-D, end. And so it's not over yet. The Lord has a whole nother chapter for Sister Betty. Woo! <laughs> 
naše dluhy, jak naše přechy. Dělá mi tím, co chce být v našem vrstě. Já chci tím, že to mám počít se svém dne. For the loved ones, the relatives, the husband, the children. To the extended family, the church family. To the community in which you have met. But yet, God, we understand that she's in a greater community. For she has joined the cloud of witnesses. And so, God, we thank you for her life. We thank you, God, for this day that you have made. For before the earth was formed, for the world and the universe, we have decreed that, that this day should come. So, God, we thank you. And now, God, I pray that you give me a word from the word. That you'd word these lips of clay, that they might speak the truth of the gospel. That it might be powerful in might strengthen and that it might soothe the hurting heart. Now God, I honor you for it. Give me clarity of thought and clarity of speech. And I shall speak only what you shall speak. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless all of you. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. I'm grateful to be here today, even though the occasion may not have been of my choice. But God has made choice this day that we would celebrate the home going of our friend and sister. I give special deference and honor and respect to the prince of this house, the man who leads the third jurisdiction of Illinois, Churches of God in Christ. That is our friend, our brother, our mentor, our pastor, the Bishop Robert R. Sanders. I honor the Bishop Austin. Amen. 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 He may not remember it uh, because I certainly was just a little fella at best, but his father and my father were friends. And my father used to run revival at the St. Luke Church under his father's leadership right. many, many years ago. Right. It was there, I understand, this is the Betty War uh, matriculated from. And it was uh, great relationships that you have in the body of Christ. It seemed like they come back around. If you stay around long enough, they come back around. And uh, we just thank God for that. And we give honor to all of the clergy, both visiting and those who are home. I'm honored to be here today to share a few words. I will not be long, so no one has to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. One like to sleep, he's nothing. Tell him wake up, he won't be long. I honor Bishop Sanders because this is her pastor today. And uh, he stepped back and gave me the privilege and allowed me to move forward today in this capacity. Uh, Bishop Sanders is an unusual leader. He's an unusual leader. And uh, I appreciate him for it. Yes, I am. Uh, he's my pastor because I, I cut many of my ministerial teeth under him. And uh, he's taught me much. I watched him operate even today. I said, this is a man that's filled with wisdom. And I appreciate him. Um, I'm here today because I'm a part of the Wolf family. I feel very much a part of this family. No longer was there a comfort zone in that house. But thank God that there's another house. There's another building. There's another building. Not made for him. Elder War and the entire War family, thank God for this house. But praise God for the house that lives in eternity. And Sister Betty is enjoying her new house with no one else. I want to share for a few minutes with you. So happy to see so many friends. Mother Dabs, are you in the room? Amen. Is Mother Dabs in the room? Amen. You praying for your son? Pray for me, Mother. Amen. I call Mother Dabs my other mother. She always has some good advice. I want to talk to you from the 23rd Psalms. 
Now to make sure I'm in the right house, I want the redeemed of the Lord to say amen. Amen. Oh, I believe it's from redeemed folk in here. Psalms 23. You know when you get past 35 like I am, you need some help. I bought my help. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. From that text we'll derive a key verse, number four. It says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Take somebody by the hand and to encourage them, just simply to encourage them, and look at them and say, neighbor, neighbor it's, all right it's all right to be in the valley, as long as God, as long as God is with you in the valley. Yeah. I'm going to 